How about this? John, explain baseball. 3-2. <laughs> Strike three. Gonzalez down looking. That is a big out for Stratton. Boy, that is a huge call in this game as the Yankees are trying to fight back. Obviously not a strike. LeMay who takes the strike. The Yankees angry. Somebody threw a towel out onto the warning track in front of the dugout. Aaron Boone just picked it up. My guess it was probably Marwin Gonzalez. 0-2. Oh John, is it me or does the strike zone has it been widening for both teams now? It, it's to be honest with you, it's it's hit or miss right now, whether it, that's a strike. Yeah. That's a good call. But the pitch to Gonzalez, clearly not a strike. We've seen it the other way with Wainwright. Some pitches he didn't get called, so all over the place this afternoon. Swing and a miss. Judge hits it out to center. And it is off the wall. Taken there by Carlson. Judge into second. And the game is tied. And you might have heard in the background, Aaron Boone still chirping at Ed Hickox. 1-0. and 1-1. One one. Does it get... There's the swing again. Wainwright reacting in the dugout. Here we go. Well, I, I would think, John, that he's been thrown out because he can't argue balls and strikes, so he's going to get his money's worth now. Listen, this has been going both ways. Both sides have not been happy with home plate umpire Ed Hickox. Temperature at first pitch was 94 degrees. You see both people here have the towels around their necks. It's high humidity because it's the Midwest. When Boone first came out, I just saw Hickox either breathing heavily or shallow, rapid breaths. If I'm the medical person, I'm a bit concerned here. We've all been there where it's tough to do your job, where it's oppressively hot and you are overheated. Not saying that that's what it is going on here, but yeah, this doesn't look comfortable. It hurt enough, throw him out. Just because you keep calling it, Eddie, just because you keep calling it doesn't make it a strike. Deep to right field. And foul. Strike three. Carpenter down looking. But the Yankees tie the score. Two runs, three hits, two men left. We're halfway through in six, six. Hickox, he's hearing it from both benches, both managers, the crowd. And a wild game here at Bush, six, six. Yeah, I will tell you this, full disclosure, I wouldn't want that job. That is a very difficult job. Hard to have too many friends in a gig like that. Ooh. Certainly doesn't have any in this ball game. But strike zone aside, you got to figure out different ways. It's been inconsistent. It's been inconsistent both ways. How do you figure out a way to win this ball game? Neither broadcast picked up on the ejection of Matt Blake between innings by Big Carapaza, but more to the point, the way Ed is moving and breathing, especially during the ejection, reminds me of when I tried working outside in hot and humid conditions. I was dehydrated and everything was sort of a blur. That's how it kind of works, I guess. I can't imagine trying to call a baseball game like that. I've harped on this for quite some time now that health and safety in sports seem somewhat like an afterthought in some situations. And nowhere does that jump out to me more than when an umpire gets hit in the head by a fast moving ball. By the by, Ed Hickox has a history of concussion and head injuries. I'm always wary of when people with head injury histories stay in ball game. Oh, and that really got Hickox and Molina holds him from falling down and Trevino also right there. That hit him so square, he almost went down. He still looks like he's shaking up a little bit. Well, that is scary. I mean, we could say all we want about Ed Hickox in the strike zone today. But it is blistering hot down on that field, and then you take one straight off the mask in the eighth inning. I just hope he's all right. 
you can see his shirt is absolutely soaked through with perspiration. And behind that plate, you know, each catcher gets a chance to sit down between innings. John, you know what he doesn't. That's uh, whether you like his strike zone or not today. That this is not an easy job on this on this afternoon. Yeah. We've seen this before where a crew chief has come in and basically said, no, you're leaving. You do not get a say. You're gone. That's what happened earlier this year in Boston when John Tempain got hit, tried to walk it off. Marvin Hudson came in, directed one of his crewmates to go put on the gear and said, no, John, you're done. You need to be safe. I like to see that, and my respect level for Hudson goes up a mile because of that. I don't see that here in this game, but it could have happened, it didn't. That's the one thing that always drives me nuts, sort of, is this machismo attitude of let's stay in and finish what we've started, even though I am clearly not doing well. <laughs> not in terms of calling balls and strikes, but just physically. Oh, and if you're one of those people that responds like karma or, you know, you deserved it or something stupid like that, um, please get off the channel and out of the sport. We just don't need you. This is a human being no matter what the strike zone looks like, just as the Yankees broadcaster said. Oh, and he doesn't. That's uh, whether you like his strike zone or not today. That This is not an easy job on this, on this afternoon. Yeah.